You hear stories about celebrities getting hacked or your cousin's friend's mother-in-law who had her identity stolen. You think it'll never happen to you, but don't be so sure. 2014 has the dubious honor of recording the highest number of cyber hacking cases to date. And with the rise of cloud storage, you need to take special care of your personal data. The internet is our playground, a perfect instant gratification factory and a place to microblog our every move. But we're not alone in paradise. The bad guys are out there too and they're loving new technology and the criminal opportunities it delivers. Think of that Russian crime ring that hacked over 1.2 billion usernames and passwords as well as 500 million email addresses. Then there was a the theft of the names, social security numbers, physical addresses, birthdays and telephone numbers of 4.5 million patients from the supposedly safe US-based community health systems. And then there was, of course, the infamous hack and leak of nude celebrity photos off their cloud-based photo streams. I didn't see them. Have you looked at them? Do you have the link? It's safe to say that maybe we aren't as safe as we thought. So there's this phenomenon called the Internet of Things, and that means you can hack anything that is internet-based. So your baby monitor at home, if you have a smart fridge that they're not in South Africa yet, but you get these fridges that will tell you when your milk is low and automatically order it from the, the store for you. So that can be hacked, your smart TV, any cameras that you might have at home, so your camera in your laptop, that could be hacked. You know, and it's, it's just scary the extent that people can go to. And cyber criminals will always be one step ahead. Um, Postbank was attacked in 2012, and 42 million rand was stolen from Postbank clients' accounts. It was deposited amongst 5,400 accounts and withdrawn from ATMs. They managed to steal 30 million, so not the full amount, but still 30 million rand of clients' funds. Um, another example would be South African fast food retailers. And I know that KFC was particularly hard hit, but as I've said, the reputational harm is so huge, so they won't tell us the figure, but it has been known as South Africans' worst breach, therefore implying it is bigger than Postbank. Even if you're really careful with your personal details, once you've handed them over, you have to trust government, companies, and other organizations to protect them too. That's where the poppy, Protection of Personal Information Act comes in. Poppy gives the regulator extensive powers to investigate and fine companies that don't take proper care of people's data. It also opens the way for civil claims by those who've had their info stolen from somewhere that was supposed to be safe. So by you swiping your credit card or your debit card at a point of sale device, that device will store your information. It has your credit card information as well as your PIN. So it's the easiest way for someone to get in. It happened to Ed Gears a, a few years ago where a disgruntled employee put a virus on their points of sale devices, shut them down completely two days before Christmas. So two international incidents that have recently um, happened is one is Sony PlayStation where 77 million users' data was leaked and that has cost the company 180 million US dollars just in notification costs. Another one is Target, um, the retail chain in America. So their point of sale devices were also hacked. If you suspect you've been the victim of hacking or that a company you've transacted with isn't doing enough to protect your data, you need to report it. Start online with sites like cybercrime.co.za. In the meantime, do what you can to protect yourself. You are the, the weakest link. So by you not having effective password policy, by you lending your credit card you know, to a friend to go make a purchase, by your PA having your personal bank account details on her system, it's just very dangerous. So you have to guard your personal data. There's no reason the interwebs can't be the perfect place of information, entertainment and instant gratification and cat videos. Just follow the rules. Don't give out your details to strangers and be careful out there.